everyone, it's Zuan and welcome back to my channel. Today I would like to talk about a pretty serious topic. I know that my channel, I usually just do fun videos, but today I want to address something that is actually really important. I have reacted to SB19 and my first reaction to them was actually one year ago. Um, the reason that I reacted is because someone DM'd me and told me about P-Pop and they said you should react to SB19. They DM'd me because they had seen my reaction to Kachi. Kachi is the, uh, you know, British girl group. And so I was thinking, oh, that fits the theme. I'm reacting to groups outside of Korea that have elements of K-pop. And so I was like, okay, great, I'll react. So my first reaction to SM19 absolutely blew up way more than I had expected. After posting that first reaction video, I got so many comments asking, requesting for me to react to some of their other content. As I got to know SB19 more and I started to fall in love with Ken, I realized that a lot of creators on YouTube do reactions to SB19 simply for shock value and views. I've noticed that a lot of them have kind of clickbaity titles like oh my god, I never expected this, or these are the most talented people, something like that. Which is true, they're very talented. But I think, um, I notice people taking advantage of the group, um, doing a simple reaction video without trying to understand the culture, and they were getting extremely famous from it. I realized, yeah, I, I do recognize those trends. I've seen creators do that with other cultures too. You see it happen a lot with um, black culture. People use aspects of black culture just so they can get views, but they don't actually respect or genuinely understand the culture itself. The reason that this issue came to my attention was because I saw a video by Jessica Lee on Pinoy baiting. And when I saw her video, I realized that because I make reaction videos of SB19, and I'm getting views from them, I could be genuinely hurting people. I want to grow my YouTube channel to be a happy place where people can come and feel safe. I want people to have fun. But if the content I make is hurting people, then I'm gonna do everything I can to change that. I myself, as a Korean, understand what it's like for people to use your culture just as a buzzword to get views. You know, I have seen a lot of people who react to BTS simply to get views, you know, and it doesn't seem like their intention is to actually try to understand what BTS has gone through and try to listen to their music, but rather just get famous from it. And it has upset me in the past seeing those types of videos, so I completely, I can completely understand why a lot of Filipino people would be upset about people using their culture and their music simply for clicks. So that's why I wanted to make this video to ask you guys, do you think I should stop making videos related to SB19? I want to sincerely ask this because I don't want to profit off of another group's hard work. I genuinely really love SB19. Even if I stop making reaction videos to them, I'm still gonna stand them. I'm gonna watch more of their vlogs and keep up with their music, vote at the BBMAs. I'm going to do all those things. Um, I'm going to continue standing them, but I can stand them quietly. I don't have to do so publicly because I realize that to some people it might appear very exploitative and I don't want to hurt anyone. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments, what you think about Pinoy baiting, and how I can help as a creator to prevent more culture from being exploited um if that means that i don't make any more reaction videos to sp19 then that is completely all right um i respect your views and i just honestly don't want to hurt anybody um no one has personally come to me complaining about it or anything but uh, when i saw just Kali's video i realized that it could be a genuine problem that is affecting my viewers and that they just haven't spoken up so I wanted to address it directly and ask you guys, but I just want to say like as a Korean, as someone whose culture has also been exploited for fame, I want to respect your boundaries and I want to 
especially respect SB19 because I've grown to really love them and I can't wait to see them grow more. So thank you guys for listening. Uh, again, please let me know what you guys think. Thank you.